How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Hot Wheels expansion saw 10 new vehicles added to the game within the expansion itself. And in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock each and every one of them. All 10 of them, one by one. Now what I am going to do over the next couple of days on my most recent Hot Wheels videos is pick a few random commenters and give you a Hot Wheels DLC code. So if you don't already have the expansion and you want to be in the chance of getting a code off me for the Hot Wheels expansion, drop a comment below with your Xbox gamer tag, your Instagram, your Twitter, just anything that I can contact you by and I'll pick a few random people on some of my recent videos to get a Hot Wheels DLC code. I will of course show who won these codes next week at some point in one of my future videos. Remember if I pick you and you win and you don't reply or anything like that, obviously the code's going to have to go to someone else. If this video does help you out guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel, it helps me out loads. Let's get into how to unlock all 10 new cars in the Hot Wheels expansion. Now straight off the bat, I do not know how this works if you don't have the Hot Wheels expansion. I don't know if you can go to the auction house and buy these from someone else. I'm going to guess you can't, but I might be wrong. This is for expansion owners, what challenges you need to do to unlock these, as you can't go and buy them from the auto show. Let's start off with one that you can buy from the auto show, the 2013 Hot Wheels Baja Bone Shaker. This car is one of the only cars you can just go and buy from the auto show. It's one of the new cars within the expansion. Go to the auto show and buy it. For some reason, it's there and all of the other cars aren't but that is the first vehicle and you can just go and buy it from the auto show. Nothing exciting there. All of the other cars are unlocked through the campaign of Hot Wheels from the major missions. As you know, each car class has a category, B class, A class, S1, 2 class, S2 and X class. Each of these have challenges and all of these cars are within those categories. This is where they all are. So the second car is the Brabham BT62. This car can be unlocked through an S2 class major challenge or major mission. You'll see here, you can see this is where you unlock it and it is for a speed zone challenge. I believe it's through two different speed zones within a certain amount of time. You can get in any car to do this, presumably an S2 car will be the best. Get onto the map and do these two speed zones here and that will complete the challenge to unlock the Brabham BT62. It's worth noting for these challenges, you have to have the PR stunts and the category unlocked. So in this case, you need the S2 challenge unlocked. On to the next car, which is the Chevrolet Hot Wheels Camaro, sort of the, the, the drag version of it with the airbag on the back. Not the airbag, the parachute. This car can be unlocked through an S1 class major challenge. This is, as seen on screen, a speed trap challenge, not a speed zone, a speed trap. I believe it is do two of these speed traps within a certain amount of time together. So once you've unlocked the S1 class category, get in an S1 class car, do these two speed traps in a certain amount of time, and you will get given the Chevrolet Hot Wheels Drag Camaro. The next car is the 2021 Hennessy Venom F5, probably what most of you have come to this video for. This is the X class major challenge. So you have to get, or basically complete the campaign and get this last X class challenge unlocked to get the Hennessy Venom F5. It's a very simple challenge. It's actually explore all of the road. So once you get to the X class category, explore all of the roads on the map. You can find which ones you haven't explored by they're being greyed out. Explore them all, you'll unlock the challenge and get given the Hennessy Venom F5 off the dot. The next one is the 2012 Hot Wheels Bad to the Blade. This is a S1 class challenge, however it is the S2 qualifier. So once you reach the S1 class category and complete all of the missions to get to S2 class, the qualifier mission that you do for S2 class, that is how you unlock the Hot Wheels Bad to the Blade. So when you get to the S1 category, you can't actually get it just yet. You have to wait until you complete S1 class and do the qualifier mission for S2. The 2000 Hot Wheels Diora 2. This is very similar to the Bad to the Blade. It is the A class qualifier. So the first class that you get given, which is B class, once you complete enough challenges to unlock the A class qualifier, the A class qualifier mission will unlock and give you the Diora 2 Hot Wheels car. Very simple, very straightforward. The 2006 Mosler MT900 GT3. This is a S2 class challenge, just like the Brabham 
once you get to S2 class, you will have a challenge which is a keep above a certain speed for a certain amount of time challenge. It's very quick and very easy to do, especially on Hot Wheels. Just get into a fast S2 class car, do this challenge, keep above a certain speed for a certain amount of time, and then you will unlock the Mosler MT900 GT3. Quite a lot of these challenges are actually really easy to do. It's just getting to the point where you're allowed to do them, which is the tedious bit. Next one is the 1993 Schuppen 962CR. This is unlocked within the A class category. It is the S1 qualifier race. So once you get to A class and get enough medals to unlock the S1 qualifier mission, do the S1 qualifier mission and that mission itself will give you the 93 Schuppen 962 CR. Very straightforward. The 2020 Sierra Cars Yokohama Alpha. This is actually a lot cooler to drive than I thought it would be. So I definitely recommend you guys get this, if you, even if you didn't think you'd be interested in it. This is the qualifier race for X class also known as the Goliath race or the final mission. Once you get to S2 class and complete enough medals to unlock X class, the qualifier race, which is also known as the Goliath, once you complete the Goliath in any car you want, that will give you the Sierra Cars Yokohama Alpha. That is the next new car of this sort of Hot Wheels expansion. So if you're looking for that car, you need to get quite late on in the campaign. It's the second hardest car to get, I believe. The 2018 Subaru WRX STI ARX Supercar. This is one of the last cars now. It is the S1 class category. And once you get S1 class, there'll be a simple challenge, which is a speed zone challenge again. Do two speed zones within a certain amount of time, and you will get given the Subaru WRX STI ARX Supercar. Now it is worth mentioning all of these other cars can actually be purchased from the auto show after you've unlocked them normally anyway. So there are challenges for all of the other ones and after you've done the challenge and got the car for the first time, you can then go and buy it from the auto show again. I don't know why you'd want the second one, but you can buy all of them from the auto show after you've unlocked them anyway, if that makes sense. The Baja Bone Shaker is the only one you can go and buy from the auto show straight away without unlocking it. Let me know in the comment section below which one of your cars that were added in this update is your favourite. I'm very intrigued to know. All of them are really cool to drive and all of them have a unique thing about them which makes them really cool. So go and get them all. You're probably going to end up with them all anyway if you do the challenges and do the full campaign. But yeah, hope this video helped you out. Leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.